Hey sweet friend, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maylene Call from Mrs. Call's Campers. If you're new here, I am a kindergarten and first grade teacher in Northern California. So today's video is not a teacher vlog. I'm actually going to be out tomorrow. So I put in for a sub. It is still yet to be <laughs> determined if there will actually be a sub in here or if my class will be split. I'm not really sure. But regardless, I have sub plans. So the way that I like to do sub plans is very detailed. I always like to give a little bit more versus a little bit less. And I do try as much as possible to keep things pretty consistent in a routine so that it's not just like a free for all when it comes to the sub. Also, I feel like something I should note is whenever I do have a sub, I let my students know that they're gonna be having a guest teacher. I don't usually say substitute, I usually say guest teacher. That way in their brain, it's still their teacher. Um, so the day before, I will go ahead and prep the students for what is going to be happening the next day because things, of course, are going to look slightly different. So the day before sub, I am very explicit with my students about what is going to happen, what the expectation is. I'm also going to try something a little bit different and try to make like a whole class reward system that the sub can use. So maybe putting like, I don't know if you've seen it, but it's like an anchor chart and then the sub can add something to it every time the students like follow directions or they're listening or something. So I'm gonna try that for the first time. Actually, I haven't printed my sub plan yet. I'm gonna do that after school, but I just wanted to come on and kind of explain what I am going to be doing. Okay, it is after school. I am going to go home. Before I go, I wanna show you what I did for my sub. Hopefully this is helpful. So let me walk you around and show you what I did. Okay, here's what my back table looks like. I do like to separate it out by time. Um, I don't like putting it in one giant pile just because for me it helps to just see the sections of the day. So I hope that it helps um, subs when they're in here. So this is what the back table looks like. This is what my board looks like. I did write them a morning message like I always do and it kind of looks like our morning message does. So hopefully <laughs> that helps. And they'll be doing puzzles in the morning for their fine motor. And then instead of tracing their name, they will sign their name by their number. It's in the same spot but hopefully that goes well. So here's my little message. And then like I mentioned, I wanted to do a whole class behavior chart. I saw ABCs with Miss B do this. The only difference is I made mine a spookly version because their read aloud today is going to be, or tomorrow is going to be spookly the square pumpkin. So if they all get their pieces colored in, then they will get a piece of candy at the end. So hopefully they do a good job with this. I just put it on this random whiteboard that I had. So I do leave my bell with the substitute in case they wanna use it. I explain how they do each of these um, management systems. This, I obviously leave candy every time. Um, this timer is for a student, this is for the TV. And then I'm gonna kinda go over what I include in this little packet. So this is just our schedule. So I let them give or take dojo points by putting a tally by their name. And then on the next page, I give class information. So just talking about attendance, just talking about my director, my helper, and then anything else. And then it just goes through our whole day. So this is our whole day. You can pause if you would like to read it. The first thing they're gonna do is their song and their meeting and then read aloud. So this is the read aloud that I did for them and I put sticky notes on a couple of pages just so that they could still kind of get that questioning that I usually do with them. I have certain questions for kindergarten and certain questions for first grade and then at the end I have some questions too. So that is the read aloud. And then after the read aloud, they will do snack just like normal and then after um, they come in from snack, they do literacy so this kind of explains my process and then first graders will do their sight words their little i words cards if i can open it with one hand and show you well oh, it's so hard okay just the little sight word cards they'll go over all of that and then i have a circle and sort for blends which we are doing this week and we did this sheet yesterday just with different um, blend, so I'm hoping they do okay with it. I'm honestly never sure about the audio when I'm holding it from the other side, so I'm just gonna do it like this. After literacy with first grade, they go into literacy with kinder. I am having my sub do our mystery letter routine. So here is that. And I did make the anchor chart so it is all ready and the mystery letter is all ready. And then after literacy with kinder, they will do a little brain break and then they'll go into centers. And I'm not gonna show you the page for centers because it has student names all over it, but I just scripted out exactly what I say. So 
If you are fiddly, raise your hand. You will be going to library today. When you are in library, you need to be reading. Reading pictures is reading. If you want to use the book buddies, what are the rules? If you want to use the scoop rockers, what are the rules? In the library, we whisper so that our friends in word work can work. What happens if you play? Fiddle leaves, walk to the library. So for each center, I give my full little spiel. You wanna hear the rest of it. If you are a willow, raise your hand. You will be going to writing today. When you are in writing, you should be working the whole time. What do you do first? Center folder. When you're done with your center folder work, what do you do? Kindergarten, remember you can practice writing letters, making letters with Play-Doh, do a directed drawing, work on a new story or a sticker story. What happens if you play? Willows, get your center folder and get started. If you're a sycamore, raise your hand. You will be doing the tablets today. If you're a sequoia, raise your hand. You will be going to word work today. When you are in word work, you should be working the whole time. What do you do first? Center folder. When you are done, first graders pick from the top shelf. Kindergartners pick from the bottom. What happens if you play? Sequoias, go get your center folder and get started. By the way, if they play, um, I give them a warning and then after that I'll write their name down and they owe a minute at recess. And then I leave instructions for tablets, instructions for cleaning up, and then we do lunch. And after lunch, we're gonna do some simple coloring pages. And after that, we move into math. So for math, I have a worksheet for my first graders. Super simple, it's just addition. I didn't wanna do the new concept of subtraction just yet. So it is this little pumpkin addition. And then I have this up doing a game with kindergarten. So I'll show you what that looks like. I have these little pumpkin eggs that I got from Target and inside each each little egg there is a piece of paper and it is a pumpkin with a number this is the number seven so on their whiteboard their little dry erase sleeve they will write a seven and put seven in the ten frame um, and I'm calling this pick a pumpkin say its name write the number fill the frame and I give instructions for how to do it with kinders hopefully that goes well I wanted to make it something hands-on and fun that the sub could do with them but that they could still kind of do themselves so after kinder math first grade math and that they're just doing subtraction I wrote out the process for that I will show you and then after that is free choice and I can show you that too so this is my sub plans they're very simple but this took a long long time like it took two hours for me to do all of that anyways that's aside from the point planning for a sub takes a super long time um, there are simpler things that you can do but I wanted to keep our routine as consistent as possible because with this class especially, I think I mentioned it earlier, you give them an inch and they just take a mile. So I wanted to make sure the routine was simple, it was the same, and they could do all the work that I gave them. They do get a coloring page tomorrow, so <laughs> that should be exciting. Um, but yeah, I also, I feel like I should mention this, I'm pretty sure my principal is going to be my sub tomorrow. And it just makes me laugh because my principal is a tall man and I have him doing a teddy bear song with the kindergartners. <laughs> so I might ask him to actually record himself doing that with the kindergartners so I can put it on my class dojo. Um, Cause that just sounds really fun. So <laughs> I'm hoping tomorrow goes well. I will check in with you guys and let you know. If you have questions about anything that I showed you in this video, please let me know. My substitute dashboard is in my teachers pay teachers if you want that. I don't have the template that I used for our schedule simply because it's so simple <laughs> and it's so specific to me. So cross your fingers for me for tomorrow for my kids again I did go over the, our entire day tomorrow with my kids and I emphasize being a leader I feel like they're gonna do a really good job and I just really believe in them so I walked in this morning and pumpkin was all colored in so hopefully that means we had a good day I hope so it's so funny because I think I mentioned it but my principal was the sub in here um and he sent me like a little video of them doing the teddy bear teddy bear song and I was just like that's great I'll show you our spookly it's all colored in. Look at that. We are so happy to see that. I wonder if they actually got candy because I realized I forgot to tell him where it was, but I'm sure the kids knew. Um, but yay, so exciting. He left notes all over um, all the things that I left him. He did not fill out did not fill out the little sheet, the bottom part. That is okay. I think probably because he left notes on the things that I left, so he didn't really need to. So I'm gonna tell you about all of that after school and how it went because it is 7:10 and I have to get ready for the day and I have morning duty today, unfortunately. So welcome back, Melee, and you get to do morning duty. Ah, it was nice to have a day off though. Very nice, I got to do some fun things with my family and just relax. It was kind of weird to me to take a day, a random day off in the middle of the week. I wasn't sure if it would be weird to come back, but nope, it was just a nice little break. So very glad I did it. I hope if you're watching this and you need encouragement to do it, that you do it. I of course had family coming, so it was a little bit <laughs> easier for me to take that day, but I'm glad I did, so.
It also looks like they earned some dojo points. Okay, so let's talk about uh, this sub. It is after school today on Wednesday and I have a second to talk to you. Um, so this morning I was out on recess duty and my kids were happy to see me so that was fun. And one of my kids today, I said, how was your day yesterday? And she said, it was different. I'm gonna go ahead and look over the specifics of what happened yesterday. I know it was a pretty good day. Um, and I'm also gonna give my students the dojo points that they earned yesterday with our principal, my sub, and go over the notes with you. When I do my sub plans, I usually put the times over here and leave this section so that they have room to write notes throughout the day if they would like. Um, what, where is this? It's funny because it looks like he circled like keywords in my plans, which is funny. I'm glad that they were used. And then he had calendar with a question mark. So I think he probably assumes that I do calendar in the morning, which we do it normally during math, but we haven't been getting to it lately. So I didn't even include it in the plans, um, but I thought that was funny. And then one of the notes he left um, was Hanitizer because that's how my kindergartners pronounce it. And I think it's hilarious. So that's funny that he noticed that. Just looking through, trying to see if there's anything I can share with you guys. One of the things that I had him do with my kindergartners is we always take our magic pens and we write the letter in the sky and we write it on the floor. And he said, he practiced writing it in the air, on the ground, on their leg, on their arm. And I thought that was funny. When it was time for doing the letters with the kindergartners, we always have a little anchor chart and I have them come up and do the handwriting. I'll show you what uh, they did with him yesterday. And he said it worked well, so that's good. So we have this whole little process that my kids are used to because we do it every day, or not every day, twice a week. Okay, so this is what our chart normally looks like. At the top, it's super simple. I just put the letter H and then we do it together. H is four and they give me a word. Usually it's one of the words that is in their mystery letter. So there's little, whenever we introduce the letter, I've explained this so many times in my vlogs. Please go back and watch if you want to know how I introduce mystery letter with my kinders. But usually they give me one of these words, which is totally okay. So if they give me the word ham, I'll have them say ham. What's the first sound? <sighs> how do I spell? <sighs> and then we do it and we write it together. So H is for ham, H is for heart, H is for hippo and then I put a little dot down here where to have them start and they will write the letter and this is right over here so after they write the letter with me and I guide them and show them and give them the proper um, what do you call it print rhythm I guess so for H we say tall line down roll down they will come and they will get a whiteboard out of my chair and they will use the handwriting lines these are clean slates boards so they have the handwriting lines and they will practice the letter while the rest of the students come write it with me so i gave them that same routine because they've been doing it and i also just kind of wanted to see if i could leave something like that for the sub like i wanted to see if they would do a good job i feel like i'm such a control freak especially when it comes to teaching kindergarten's letters that I was like oh I don't know if I should but I'm glad I did so this is the chart that they did yesterday and the blue marker is everything that I filled out so they did bell bell again I'm sure I know who that was bow book and they practiced writing the letter B so he said that worked well and I'm really glad I left that and then they did the teddy bear song <laughs> And he said, fun dance, too hard to do and video at the same time. I asked him to send me a video because I thought it would be funny to see him doing it with the kids. I got a little video, but teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Super cute. This is just funny to read through these notes. If I want to have my kids take a deep breath, I will say smell the flower, blow out the candle. And sometimes I use that as a callback. So if they're loud or something, I'll just say smell the flower and they'll all stop and smell the flower and then I'll say blow out the candle and they'll blow it out and it looks like he <laughs> taught them um, smell the pizza, blow on the dandelion. So I'll try that tomorrow and see if that works because I think that is hilarious. Some of my tablets were dead. I should have <laughs> made sure those were all charged. Oops. One of my students couldn't sit with the tablet. Um, when I made these sub plans, I did not know it was going to be my principal subbing. So I typed out everything down to the first grade team eats lunch in the staff room. And he knows that because he will eat in the staff room with us. And he wrote yummy <laughs> for lunch, so that's funny. And then, anything else in my plans? And my leader and my director did a good job. 
picked those students intentionally. I always have a director and helper. Those are my classroom jobs. So if you're not familiar with my channel or maybe this is your first video, I don't do a ton of classroom jobs. I just do two. I have a director, which is kind of like a second teacher and then a helper. So they take turns doing things throughout the day. And then I have their little photo that I take at the beginning of the year. And I print like two copies of it. So one of it goes to my director, one of it goes to my helper and I'll just rotate the photo. So they come in, they see their picture and they know they're the helper for the day or they're the director for the day. But whenever I have a sub, I intentionally pick certain students to be the helper and the director. So those are all the notes that were left in my plans. And then I have a stack of things that I left. So let's see how they did. So Spookly, the square pumpkin is the read aloud that I left. And I was debating on this because it's such a fun and cute story, but they told me they loved it. So I'm like, okay, I'm glad I left it. Um, and he said, great story talked about rhyming, being different, change and feelings. In addition to all the questions that I left him on these sticky notes. So that is good. They also did fill in spookly the pumpkin and they did get their candy. I wasn't sure if they got it or not because I realized I forgot to tell him where it was, but of course the kids, the kids knew where it was. <laughs> so I asked the kids, I was like, did he fill this out throughout the day? Did you guys get your candy? And they said yes. And they were really, really excited about it. And I told them that there was a, I think it's a movie on Netflix that we would get to watch later. We honestly might do it while we tie dye. Didn't get to this with the first graders, but that's okay. I just did it today. When it got to this game with my kindergartners, this was a brand new game. I let him introduce it with them and I just wanted it to be something fun and hands-on for their math. He said they worked in pairs, they were cooperative and did humorous examples. So I don't really know what that means, but that's funny. Left coloring pages for after lunch and he said it was productive and quiet. So that's great. And they got to this, they finished it. That's in my basket. I saw it, it looks good. And that's it. So yeah, I think my kids had a pretty good day yesterday. I would say I would definitely do that class incentive chart again. I checked my comments on the Instagram post that I posted about being gone for a sub. This post right here. And someone said that the incentive chart didn't really work for them, but I feel like if that's something that you want to do, I would tell your kids the day before what it's for. I didn't tell mine because I didn't know for sure that I was doing it, but I would tell your kids the day before what it's for, how it's going to be used. And then they can kind of remind your sub. Um, cause I know that I had a bunch of other substitutes comment and say that they really liked it when the teacher left some sort of behavior management system for them. So I would definitely do that again. I really enjoyed that. And I like leaving the dojo points for them too. Someone said, I think all administration should sub in kinder at least one time. I agree, I think that's funny. Oh, they said at least once a year. So who was that? Camelia, if you're watching, I don't know if that's how you say your name, but I think that's hilarious and I totally agree. Oh, someone wanted to know about my class doorbell versus my regular bell. So I left a note that if they're too loud, you can ring this two times like that. And that is our signal to just quiet down. And this doorbell is a cleanup doorbell. So when they hear that, they know that it's time to clean up because I hate when students yell clean up, it's time to clean up. So I just do a doorbell and this is more for voice level management. And I also left my remote for my voice level light. So I don't know what all he used, but I always leave all of those as options. Let's see, was there anything else I wanted to share with you? I don't think so. And I came back to a pretty good classroom. The one thing that my students did not do a good job with was my students who are in writing left a ton of markers with their caps off. And I made a super, super big deal about it today. So hopefully it never happens again. Um, so I think that's it. So that is how I prep for a sub. That is how our day went. Hopefully that was helpful. I'm not sure if it was. Like this video so more teachers can see it. Make sure you subscribe to join our family and I will see you in the next one.